This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh from the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And she's coming to you from Huntsville, Alabama. Miss Yolanda Hammonds. What's going on, Miss Hammonds? Hello, hello, nothing. <laughs> how you do how you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Well, we're gonna talk about matter of fact, this is the first lady, um, first anybody really that being on my show that got their own tattoo business. So you just made history. Well, like I, um when I started I was the first fe black female tattoo artist in Huntsville. Well oh. in North Alabama. Okay. That's what's up. So let me ask you, uh, how long you been doing this? Well, I opened my first shop in 97, but I started a little bit before then, so I'm going to say about 25 years. Okay, because since you, you say you, you draw, you always was an artist anyway, so it's just, it just made it, makes it easier. Yeah, it, it definitely makes it easier. Because a lot of times when people come to your shop, they want custom work. They don't want to have to look in a book or a magazine. And you get um, you get more when you give them what they want. Right. What made you want to do this? Actually, I never wanted to do it. I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to design cars. But one of my brothers was like, I want a tattoo. You draw, you paint. And one of my cousins was doing tattoos, and I was drawing them. So my brother was like, you do me a tattoo. So right then, I started doing a little homemade tattoos. And I ended up doing eight tattoos at night, and they said, yo, yo, do tattoos, and then trial and error, homemade guns, then start buying equipment. I start ordering equipment out of tattoo magazines, and then it's today. Get out of here. It just kept on going, and I opened my first shop probably the first year after practicing, and wow. everybody know me as Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Everybody know me as Ms. Yo-Yo. Yeah. Ms. Yo-Yo. Okay, then. Yeah. All right, now. Let me ask you this. When you doing tattoo, do you get nervous? Because I know you got to deal with like needles or whatever y'all use, the machines. How do you handle that and how you make your people, your customers, what they got to do to, to make you be successful with the tattoo? Well, I'm never nervous about tattooing. I work better under pressure, but in the beginning when I first started, I used to get nervous because I was scared I was going to hit a vein. I didn't know nothing. But... Actually, like you don't even go through the, you only go through the first layer of skin. It's not like I thought it was, mm -hmm. and it's not real scary. And I talk too much. I talk the whole way through when the uh, client's getting a tattoo, and I'm not heavy-handed. I don't stress the skin out, and I keep my clients calm. I've never had a complaint. I've never had a woman fall out. Men fall out all the time. I'm sorry about that, but y'all do. <laughs> so, I hate needles. Talk and keep a conversation. A lot of men do. You're not the only one. You are not alone. Shoot, I'm my not. Motto at my shop is take it like a woman. Look, That's my motto at my shop. I don't like needles. I remember when we used to get them flu shots. You know, when you was in school, back in school, when you back in the day, when you had to go to the doctor and get a shot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I feel the alcohol. When the alcohol with the cotton already makes me, I already feel it. I hate that. <laughs> I told him one, a lot of men, especially if it's a man and he's deciding to get his first tattoo and he's over 35, when they come in, I get them water, juice, crackers, and cookies. They're like, what's that? I'm like, that's your Lunchable. And I just tell them to keep it right there. And by the time I get ready to stick, I'm like, drink some water. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> they be ready to fall out. You know. I treat the men like that because I know they about to go. Women, they, women get it. Oh, man. Yeah, because I women, just. Them needles, I can't do no needles, man. What? Yeah. And my nah. oldest female client is 72. And I have a lot of clients over 50 and 60 that are just starting to get tattoos, but they have sleeves, leg pieces, back pieces, and everything. Well, I ain't never had no tattoo. I ain't really had, I ain't really, I don't like nothing. I ain't, I'm just natural. But if I if, if I ever get a tattoo, it'd be a Stiller logo on one side and a Cadillac Emma on another. I'm a die-hard <laughs> okay. Steeler fan, and I love Cadillac. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've done a Cadillac symbol before. I can get you. I got you. All right, then. That's what's up. Now, let me ask you this. All the the upcoming tattooists that want to become tattooists and, and apprentices or whatever they may want to do far as got to do with this business, what kind of advice can you give to them to make them successful? Uh, first of all, 
all, they need to have an open mind and be very creative because you never know what somebody is going to ask you to draw or where they're going to put it. So you got to be mature enough to handle where they want you to put it because it could be in a private area. Don't harass the clients and make them feel comfortable the way they need to feel so they can get it. And don't harass them. Just treat them like good people and have a nice conversation with them. And if you're going to be a tattoo artist, you got to have a good head. You can't go in there with an attitude. If you got an attitude, don't do tattooing because you'll quit your job the first day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, yo, yo, how can you be reached? At? What's your contact numbers if anybody want to make an appointment with you? My cell phone number is 256-200-8413. If I don't answer, send me a text message. And I have Instagram, X underscore, Ms. Yo-Yo, M-Z-Y-O-Y-O. And just message me if I don't answer. Okay, and your hours of operation? From whenever to whenever, whenever. And I the, work by appointments. And the name of the shop? And I work every day. My shop name is Hunts Vegas, Inc. by Ms. Yo-Yo. Hunts Vegas, Inc. All right, then. Now, do you got any yeah. shout-outs you want to give to anybody? Yes, I do. I need to shout out the Lord. Thank you. Thank the Lord. I'm just grateful for every day. And then I need to give all my love to my mama because everything that I do today was the stuff that I got my butt hooked for when I was little, painting on the walls, painting on clothes, writing on my skin. I still do that today. And that's all <laughs> yeah. So don't knock the don't beat the kid up for being creative. Let that baby paint on them walls. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure you being on my show, and I got one more question to ask you. Could you please tell me what's the baddest station in the land and the station that pays? The MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show, baby. And there y'all got it, folks. She's coming to you from Huntsville, Alabama. That's Yolanda Hammonds, a.k.a. Yo-Yo, right here on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays.